Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Assassin's Creed Top 5 Moments video. We're now moving on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, my favourite of the Assassin's Creed franchise, and with Assassin's Creed 2 being a very close second, so there's a lot of amazing moments to get through right now. Very exciting. And it's, this was a tough list to put together, to be honest, there's a lot of honourable mentions and I'll talk about those later, but we're going to get straight in to the top five list. Number five is the battle for Monteregioni. It was an amazing start, it's an iconic location from Assassin's Creed 2 that you built up, and then you have this intense battle just when you think Ezio is going to chill out and have a nice good time with uh, Katarina Sforza. Shit gets real, Cesare and his boys attack, and then your Uncle Mario is killed. It was so depressing, and it was an amazing battle, an amazing moment, moment, moments. It was just an amazing sequence that happened in the game that got a lot of emotions going, excitement and the action of the game, as well as the emotional side of the characters and the place getting destroyed after all the work you put in. It was definitely an iconic moment in the game. Number four, Christina's death. Now, this is one of the first side activity moments that got me like this in any game. Christina missions were such a pivotal part of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood to have those memories. And I always wondered what happened to Christina after Assassin's Creed 2. I was like, you, she seemed like she was important to Ezio, but you never really hear about her again. And then to have these missions pop up, I'm like, oh shit, she was important, way more important than you thought, because Ezio loved her so much he repressed those memories, that's why you can only unlock them from here when he sees this woman that looks like her on the street. And then you play around and you see these amazing emotional moments that ends with such a sad one, with Christina dying in Ezio's arms and them kind of accepting each other's love one final time and Ezio lost his first ever love. It was just so sad and it brought so much depth to the already deep character that is Ezio. Number three is Ezio's final stand in Rome. All roads lead to Rome mission. I believe it's memory six and sequence eight where Ezio gathers all of the master assassins, you know, La Volpe, Bartolomeo, Machiavelli, and Claudia, and you have this amazing battle with all your assassin buddies against Cesare's last men before he's arrested. It's just this cool moment that's built up, and you're at the entrance to Rome, Cesare's been knocked off his throne, he's got almost nothing left, he's dying from this poison, and here you are, who's built up this army of assassins, and you call all your assassins in, and you've got all your friends there with you. It's just an incredible battle and moment to see Ezio culminate all of his work into this final stand against Cesare that inevitably leads him to getting arrested and taking back Rome from the Borgia influence. Number two is the actual final battle between Ezio and Cesare. It actually happens years after that battle in Rome. It's actually in Spain because Cesare escaped the prisons in Rome, went over to Spain and gathered some support and led an army so that he could then get some more favours and take back Rome. But in the end, Cesare died in this battle because Ezio shows up and fucks shit up because you end up going through this huge battle just to get to that final moment on these walls where cannons are firing, you know, people are dying everywhere, shit's getting real, and Cesare and Ezio have one final awesome battle for the ages, and it's Ezio, you know, you beat the shit out of him pretty much, and Cesare, finally that son of a bitch, falls after everything he's done to you and your family, and the Borgias and Ezio's revenge story is finished once and for all. The number one moment, just for its sheer shock factor, and it's the same with Assassin's Creed 2, it's the ending with Lucy dying, because it's just like, when you're playing it for the first time, it's jaw-dropping, you're like, what, what, what the fuck happened? I didn't understand the first, you know, Assassin's Creed 2's ending, what the fuck? I wanted answers, but I'm just getting more fucking questions, I'm just freak I'm freaking out, guys, I'm just freaking out. There's just so much shit happening. And 
it left you for another year with a cliffhanger even bigger than the one before. And I'm just like, for fuck's sake. God damn it. But it was one we had to live with. And though the payoff wasn't all that great, the moment itself was unbelievable, full of mystery and intrigue, and god damn, it made me want to play the next game. So it had to be the number one moment for me in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I'd like to hear your favourite moments in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. If you feel like I've missed one, let me know, because, you know, it's tough to remember everything that ever happened in all the Assassin's Creed games or are these lists. I'm pretty sure I get the ones I want, but just in case, obviously, put in the comments below if you think there's one that's better or you have your own list and different order for them. Obviously, there's some honourable mentions that have to be in there, from Cesare's moment where he kills his father, Rodrigo, with poison, and he has that amazing villainous speech of saying, you know, if I want to live, I live. If I want to take, I take. If I want you to die, you die. Like, it was just so intense and awesome. And there's so many other cool moments of Ezio making... Claudia, his sister, a full-fledged assassin, and him becoming the official mentor of the Brotherhood. There's just... It's, the list goes on. It's such a tough game to come up with a list for because there is just so many in Brotherhood. To me, it's the hardest one to do. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more of these top five moments in Assassin's Creed going forward, and I'll see you guys later.